All right. Awesome. I think we're ready to go. All right, I'm ready. Um, can, chat, can you go ahead and tell people to refresh the stream because they're going to need to do that, the people that were sitting in there waiting um, to be able to see us probably. Now, again, let's get started. Now, I'm Pocket. I work with MMORPG, and uh, I often do interviews with devs and play the games and do guides and reviews. Now, this is Mark Hill. He is the senior producer. And Christopher Hua? Did I Hua Hua. Yes, I said it right. There we go. Community manager. <laughs> and they are the people I will be interviewing. Now, just real quick, do you want to go ahead and give us an overview of Raiders? And for people who aren't familiar with the game, just tell them what it's about. Yeah, absolutely. So Raiders at its core, we call it a, uh, a monster a monster hunting action MMORPG. And what that means is, so monster hunting, I'm sure all you guys are familiar with uh, Monster Hunter, like Monster Hunter style gameplay, where it's all it's all about like the big bosses. Um, uh, hunting these guys down in the wild, they roam freely throughout the land, you hunt them down, you kill them, you take pieces of them uh, that drop from them, like, uh, you know, it could be a piece of gear, could be like some bone, it could be a horn, for the, uh, example, this one dude, and you use it against them. And you can either use it against them on the spot, like in the fight, if they, uh, if they drop a weapon or something for you, you can use it right there. Or, you know, most of the time they'll drop some piece of gear or some crafting item. So the game is all about crafting, and it's all about crafting the bigger, or like trying to get to the bigger and the better, the next piece of gear. Um, and you can use these, uh, these elements that these enemies give you uh, to craft your weapons and add special abilities and uh, uh, unique enhancements to them to kind of continue to make yourself stronger. Um, so the game's all about hunting down the big monsters. Uh, you know, the little, you know, kind of minion guys in there, but it's the big, uh, you, you've probably seen it in some videos, a uh, new guy, um, all these like new bosses we have coming out all the time. So I'm hunting these guys down, get with your party, get in the gear to craft your weapons, craft your armor, and just kind of continually grow yourself while you progress through the game. And we absolutely stress teamwork, because you're not going to be able to take these big monsters down. You have to team up, work together, and use your combat you know, skills and dodging to effectively take down these monsters. Right, so it's a, uh, it's a you know, it's the action part of the description is that it's non tag to target, uh, it's, act, it's active targeting, so you have to actually hit the guy. Uh, if you have elemental uh, spells you have to cast, you have to actually aim it and hit the guy, they can get out of the way, they can move, they're actually hitting you. All these bosses, they do, uh, they all have their unique attacks, you know, some will pick you up and slam you to the ground, some will grab you in their mouth uh, and kind of like, you know, chew you up and spit you out. Uh, all different types of attacks, all really unique. So no two battles are the same. At the same time, it's uh, the, the degree of difficulty in Raiders compared to a lot of other MMORPGs I've played, uh, it's much more difficult. So that's why we highly recommend party-based gameplay. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do to get together with your party. Um, things like, you know, you can uh, you can get some recipes to cook the little crafting station, or you can get some HBMP buffs uh, on the spot. You can play music with them. Uh, you can all share the different types of loot. Of course, there's instances, of course, there's PvP, everything that you would expect from the full MMORPG. You can play music with them. Is it going to be like, you can actually like form a band of sorts, or...? <laughs> well, there's, there's, an item, uh, there's an item later in the game that you can craft. Like, if you get the items for it, it's really rare, but you can craft some different types of guitars. So there's four different guitars. Uh, each uh, each have their own unique sounds, uh, and you can get together, and, and your skill bar at the bottom will change to notes of a guitar. So you can play a few different notes and a couple different little riffs. You can play as like a rock guitar; it's really cool. Um, so you guys can you know hang out, and play some music, and they can also be used as weapons. So if you have to get attacked while you're playing music, um, you know you can crank it out and use it as a weapon really quick. That's awesome. <laughs> can you really, tell it's us? It's a really powerful, really unique weapon. Can you tell us how the class system works in Raiders? Definitely. That's actually one of the most unique things about the game is we call it a classless system. But what that really means is that you'll start with a base character. There are four, four base jobs. There's Berserker, Defender, Sorcerer, and Cleric. And they all kind of occupy their own normal uh, MMO identities. You know, the, the Defender is the, the, uh, the tank, and the Berserker is the DPS, um, and so on. So at the beginning of the game, while you're learning the game, and you're going through the first ten levels, uh, that's the job that you're going to stick with. Once you hit level 10, the skill tree, the entire skill tree of all the characters open up to you. So at each level, you're going to earn a skill point that you can put into you know, a skill, you can learn a new one, or you can enhance a current one. Uh, once you hit level 10, they're all open. So if you want to be like a, you know, a, a defender who has the one-handed sword, uh, you can also use the one-handed uh, one staff of the cleric. 
So you can learn all the cleric skills and all the defender skills. So you can be like a heavy, uh, you know, a heavy tank style guy with healing abilities. You know, you can be a hardcore DPS dude with some ranged attacks, some ranged elemental damage. So the game is it's really set up for you to be able to refine your character, your style of gameplay. Of course, you could do a pure build, right? If you just want a straight up berserker dude, you're more than welcome to do that and just fill out your entire berserker skill tree. Uh, but you can branch out too. So. It goes along with the whole theme of what I talk about when we talk about uh, doing the like group-based gameplay. So you know you're, you don't have to spam like sit there in a chat and spam like LFG tank, LFG healer, or whatever over and over again because chances are there's someone around there that'll you know that'll help you that'll like enhance your abilities a little bit. Um, you know whether they might be a defender uh, but have some healing abilities. So you, you get a much more diverse crowd, much more diverse group. And a lot of different things you can do, uh, you know, as you're killing these big monsters going through the game. Now, in regards to combat and the class system, what if, you know, I'm playing a melee and uh, I remember at PAX I picked up a different weapon and I started doing other things. Can you explain that? Yes. That's one of my favorite things about it. So I mentioned earlier that you kill these enemies and you take their stuff and you use them against them on the spot. And that's not just limited to the big monsters. It's even like the normal dudes. So... Uh, for example, there are these skeletons, uh, these skeleton archers, right? And every MMORPG ever made, uh, probably outside of, like, the Old Republic, as some sort of skeleton archer enemy. And, but these guys, you go up and you kill them, and there's a chance that they'll drop, their, uh, they'll drop their bow and arrow. And you can pick it up, and for a short amount of time, you can use that against them. Uh, and it's super powerful. Uh, you can shoot long distance, and you can use that against the other enemies. It'll continually drop more things. Now, um... Some of the skeletons, like I said, the archer ones, they'll drop their bow and arrow. The ones that are non-archers, uh, they'll actually, you can knock their skull off. You can pick their skull up off the ground and throw it like a grenade against other archers, or against other uh, enemies to do a ton of damage. Um, right in that same little area, it's like a big cemetery area where all this goes down. There's these zombies. And these zombies, you can, you can beat them up and they'll drop, uh, they'll drop their brain, right? Yeah. yeah, they'll drop their brain <laughs> and it'll give you uh, it'll give you help up. Yeah. So all these different things you can do to sort of uh, um, this continually evolves your gameplay. One cool thing about raiders that I always tell everyone about is that your skills and your uh, what you have access to is constantly changing. So for example, you'll start the game and you know you'll have your base set of skills that you've learned, um, and then uh, just within a few minutes you're at this beach and you're killing these guys, and one of these guys that you kill will drop this big like mallet type of thing and you can pick it up again for a short amount of time and you can wield it. But if you look at your skill tray on the bottom, right, so there's a skill tray, there's one through zero, um, and you can put all your potions, your different skills, everything in there. But whenever you have a new weapon or some new kind of status, or if you're on a mount or if you're playing guitar, your skill tray is always changing. So, you, you know, you, you don't just have the same set of skills, like, forever throughout the entire game. It's always, always changing, sometimes for a short amount of time, sometimes permanently, sometimes for a long amount of time. Your, your gameplay and your abilities and the things you have access to are always changing. So that's kind of one of the ways that the game stays, uh, stays fresh. That's certainly, it so. certainly sounds like it would stay fresh with that sort of combat. Now, beyond right. uh, being able to, is there anything else that's special about the combat that makes it unique from other games? Um, well, first of all, the, uh, I mean, we mentioned a few minutes ago, like, the action, the action case, the action-based game, like, non type to target. I think a lot of gamers uh, and people, you know, MMO players especially, are really starting to appreciate that more. There's, there's more games coming out. Uh, so this one, it really emphasizes speed. It really emphasizes party-based gameplay and being able to use your abilities, or it, it, use your skills and those around you to really enhance yourself. Because, uh, like I said, the bosses get super hard. Uh, we're going to the closed beta soon, and the level cap's been increased, and uh, there's this one, there's this new boss at the end named Crassus, who's crazy hard. And, you know, it, you can solo it if you want. Like, you're not forced into a party, but the best thing you can do is get a party of people and all have, you know, the, the skills and the abilities to enhance each other and to, to be able to take them down together. So it's just based on speed, it's difficult, it's always changing, and you're always getting new skills and weapons. And that's the core of the Raider-style gameplay. Now something I want to get into is how much does gear matter in this game? I know that you mentioned swapping out gear and upgrading your gear, so how much does it actually matter? It, it like, matters more than anything. Okay. Almost. Like, that's what you're always doing. So 
Um, to give you an example, these bosses, they drop this gear, and, and the high-level drop uh, bosses will drop like more rare and the unique and the epic level gear. But they won't actually drop the full set of gear. Like there's uh, uh, the, there's this big frog boss at the very beginning, and you can ki- it, it, when you kill him, he's never going to drop like the set of leather boots. You know, he's never going to drop just boots. He's going to drop a piece that you'll need to pick up. You'll need to collect uh, a certain amount of them to take to the crafting NPC to have them crafted. So uh, there are recipes involved. So you'll have to get a recipe before you can have the and take it to the NPC uh, to have them crafted this for you. So. You're always, always getting new gear. You're always on the hunt for new gear. And you're always on the hunt for new weapons. So, you know, that's it's kind of how it pulls you along. You'll know uh, which enemies and which bosses drop the best gear or, or drop the best items, the best crafting items you're going to need. So those are the ones that you're going to be hunting down with your party. So to really be able to to fully um, to fully develop in the Raiders world, you're going to have to gear yourself up, gear yourself up as much as possible. Actually, one thing, and they tie in closely with your skills. So, we mentioned earlier there's a classless system, and you know you can equip the different skills of all the different uh, different types of jobs. However, they're still weapon specific. So there there are certain skills. So you might be a defender and have sorcerer skills, but you're going to have to have the sorcerer's weapon to be able to do those skills. So if you're the defender and you have the shield and the one-handed sword, you can't start like you know throwing fireballs and stuff. You have to have the sorcerer's one-handed staff and uh, and have that equipped to be able to deploy those um, to deploy those skills. Now, what we give the players the ability to do is they have, there's three different skill trades, so you can have up to 30 different skills uh, applied at the same time. But you can bind a skill trade to a certain weapon. So the way to to instantly swap out weapons is shift. So or, I'm sorry, not shift control. So as you're switching through weapons, you can bind a skill trait to a weapon, and as you bring a new one out, your skills automatically change to that weapon. So if you have a really diverse group uh, of skills, you don't want them all in the same trait because they don't all work well together, then you can you know, set them up in a different trays, bind it to a weapon, change it out on the fly, and keep fighting. Because the point is we always want to keep players in the fight. You know, We don't want to take them out of the action. Um, we don't want to see them get bogged down in menus and... Uh, yeah. Things like that. We want to keep them in the action as much as possible uh, to kind of keep the gameplay fresh, keep it alive, and we think the players are going to like that. Now, outside of combat, uh, where do you think players will spend like some of their side, like the side features in the game, some of their off time? What will they be doing? What features have you added to sort of keep them busy beyond fighting monsters and getting gear? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of stuff to do. There's a full guild system, full auction house system, everything you would expect in that. Um, there are two things that we showed at, uh, at E3, which I think are both really cool. One we talked about earlier, which is the, um, the, the music playing, the guitar playing, which is only the tip of the iceberg, right? There's going to be more instruments, there's going to be a lot more released in the future, but right now you're going to be able to get the guitars. Uh, another cool thing is the feast system, which this actually somewhat ties into fighting still, it's kind of like everything does. But there's this feast system where you, um, you get these feast items, and there's one of three. There's either a stew, or a meat, or a vegetable. So you can collect these items, turn it into uh, essentially a feast item, and then you can, you can set it up right there wherever you are. So you can be you know, way far out of town, you can be in town, you can do whatever with your party. And you set up this feast, and everyone in your party can come around, and they'll, they'll grab a piece of food. Like if it's the meat one, they'll grab like a big like, leg, yeah, like a ham or something like that, and they'll eat it. And doing that will give them some temporary buffs, temporary status buffs, HBMP regen, things like that. So uh, there's a lot of things like that you can do to help, uh, you know, help your party members and to help yourself while you're out on these big missions. So if you don't want to just like keep spamming these bosses over and over again, you can hang out and play some music, set up a feast, um, you know, trade gear, check out guilds and things like that. Lots of stuff you can do. So it sounds like you're going to be uh, sort of allowing role players to have a spot in your game with the fee system and then the musical system and, of course, guilds. And is there anything else in regards to role playing that you're going to put into the game for those types of players? Hmm. Well, you know, the thing about role playing is, is a lot of games that do really well with role playing have like role playing servers, right? So a lot of that is up to the players. Yeah. So if they, if they really want to get in, into role playing and, and, uh, and do that type of thing together, um, it's sort of going to be, you know, up to them, right? If they want to create that sort of content, that sort of world within the game, uh, the game's set up to be able to, to, to allow them to do that. 
Um, we're going to be announcing more. We're only going to the closed beta now. We did a short alpha a few months ago. So we do have a lot more content coming for the open beta later this year, uh, and we'll be getting into a lot more things, like a lot more what you can do about what you can do with your guild, with your friends, with yourself. Um, we'll be announcing a lot of that, a lot more of that in the near future. Are there going to be dungeons, instances, or raids in the game? Absolutely, absolutely. There's going to be raids. Uh, there's there are instances. They're extremely difficult. Uh, of course, just like most instances are supposed to be, they're supposed to be difficult, but give you the best gear. Some really cool bosses at the end. Um, Right now, a party is up to a normal party. You can have up to eight players, um, but raids will raids are going to increase that, which we'll talk about more in the future. Um, so yeah, to answer your question, yes, absolutely. And how many can raids specifically? Can we and even dungeons? Can we expect on release and then updates in the future after release? We haven't discussed raids yet, okay. and I <laughs> man. I, I want to talk more about it, I swear to God, but uh, our PR girl would literally come in here and slit my throat <laughs> uh, if I gave too much up. Um, but you can expect uh, um, you can expect them to be there, and you guys uh, will tell you all about it, and you guys will be the first to know. There will be more than what was in the uh, than what was in the alpha. In the alpha, there was uh, there was actually no raids in the alpha. Uh, I think there were two in two or three instances in the alpha. So. As we expand and as the level cap increases, uh, there will be more and more. Okay. Alpha had a level cap of 25, and the beta's level cap will be 30, and the uh, closed beta will be 30. The open beta will be something in the future, we'll tell you guys about. Well, since we can't really talk about raids, let's talk about PvP. <laughs> what are you going to give the competitive groups of PvPers, like uh, dueling or instance battlegrounds of sorts? Right, so uh, right now they're in the closed beta, there, there is dueling, there's dual-based PvP. So you'll go up in the world, you'll right-click on someone, and you'll challenge them to a duel, and if they accept, then you'll fight right there. Um, everything stays the same, they don't, the characters don't like rebalance or anything like that, uh, like they would in, in some arena-type PvP games. Um, but yeah, you can do it right there, you can use all your weapons, everything you use, usable right there in PvP. Uh, we'll, we will have more arena-based PvP in the future, but not during the closed beta. Uh, that will come either um, uh, open beta or maybe post-open beta. But the PvP is there. Um, you can get together with anyone, challenge them to a duel. Uh, it's a really cool big thing, kind of comes slams into the ground. Also, it is a really big open PvP zone, so you, exactly. know, you can align yourself with the faction, you know, sign up for a faction, and then just head into the battlegrounds and fight anybody who's on the opposing faction. And they're just warring mobs and warring factions always fighting each other. So, and this is in a specific zone, right? Yeah, it's not either, which is about level 20 to 25 content. So you'll yeah. see it as you progress through the game. Definitely. Awesome. Definitely. And you can yeah. leave at any time, I'm assuming, this this open world thing, and so that way you won't be attacked when you go back to questing or something? Yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> Not that I mind because I'm a huge PvPer, but there are people out there who might, you know, not want to get uh, ganked uh, <laughs> constantly. Uh, um, so let's go ahead and talk about closed beta. A lot of people in chat have been asking, when can they download closed beta? Where can they find uh, keys for it? And I know so, that. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Oh, I know that MMORPG is giving away some. I don't know if Gracklin's still here to link it, but if you head over there, you will be able to find some keys for the closed beta. Anyway, no, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> someone, someone go find it. There's so many people in chat, someone can find it. Uh, so, yes, like you said, you can get a, a beta key from MMORPG.com. There it is. Um, <laughs> right after boobs, weird, you guys. There you go. Um, so, uh, get a beta key from there. A beta key will guarantee you access on day one of the closed beta, which is coming up on Wednesday. Um, <laughs> two days away. Two days, yeah. So, uh, it will open... Um, it'll open in the evening, probably around 5 p.m. Uh, on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific time. So that's 5 p.m. Pacific, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern, and then and I think 11... 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Yeah, 1 a.m. GMT. So uh, we're putting the client up for download early. It's not up yet. Is it? We're, we're aiming for today. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully, yeah hopefully we'll, we'll have it up. So we, we, as you guys, I'm sure, understand, we're still QA testing all this stuff and we're getting these new installers and everything like that, making sure they're solid before we put them up. That should be up today, this afternoon, um, or this evening, and then you can download the game, and as soon as the servers are open, you can hop right in. 
So this is closed beta, but you know there are quite a few people who have been in the alpha. And so what has changed between the alpha and this closed beta? Um, well, first of all, like we mentioned earlier, there's the new level cap, right? So before it's 25, now it's 30. With that new level cap comes a whole new zone. Um, and uh, some of that zone, you're sure. sure. Uh, you're going to see in a little bit some of the uh, gameplay and the new zone that you'll explore. It's called Macaw Village. Uh, as you may remember from Alpha, if you played, uh, you ended up on Mount Ada, and the cap was level 25. So now you're going to get to descend into the caves below Mount Ada, into Macaw Village, which is the new zone. There's a lot of new beasties. There's got a lot of spiders who lay traps. Uh, there's a lot of kobolds who patrol around the caves. They're ready to attack you if you're not ready. And also, you'll see Crassus in a little bit. It's a big, giant, uh, epic boss monster beetle. Uh, he's got a lot of poison attacks, a lot of charges, a lot of stomps. So uh, you might want to be ready if you uh, head into uh, Makat Village. There we go. And before we go into the last part, I want chat to go ahead and start asking questions. I'm going to take a few from chat before we go into gameplay. Yeah. And uh, now, before we take chat questions, what is this win a trip to PAX? I know it's ending tonight, though, but can you explain how people can enter this? Uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's probably one of the best things we've ever done. So PAX Prime is coming up at the end of this month. Um, for anyone who uh, anyone who registered a beta key up until, I think, midnight tonight? Tonight. Up until midnight tonight um, is automatically entered for a trip for them and a friend, so a trip for two with uh, round trip airfare and a hotel paid for and the passes obviously paid for uh, for PAX. So you get a whole free weekend of PAX. Okay. All you have to do, uh, like I said, is register a closed beta key. Yeah. So if any of you guys haven't done it and you want to go to PAX, go to NORPG.com right now, click on that link that was up there and uh, register a beta key. If you um, when you get a beta key, there should be instructions on the site on how to register uh, or how to register it. If not, go to uh, playraiders.com and uh, and all the instructions will be on there. Boss, so I don't have to like jump through hoops to do this? No, oh, it's, we've, we've simplified <laughs> the whole process. Awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, so chat questions. I know that before, okay, real quick tangent. Gracklin and I will be streaming this over the week. Um, and weekend, so there you go. Well, I, okay, and there's gameplay on our YouTube channel. I'm just going to repeat cool. what he's saying in chat. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Uh, I've seen multiple questions now. Are people going to be able to use gaming controllers with this game? Um, it's not built in, but you you can. I think you need, yeah, you need, uh, you might need X-Pattern for the third-party software. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not built in, but if you, if you're computer can do it, there's a, there's a, I'm not going to endorse it because it's third party software, but there's a thing called X-Patter some people use uh, that allows them to use uh, a gamepad with yeah. their games. We, we've gotten it to work uh, successfully with Xbox 360 controller, so then again you have to use X-Patter, which we don't actually endorse. Yeah, totally. Uh, but if you do, it, it most likely will not work with a PS3 controller, mostly just Xbox and, or one of the Logitech controllers, which I think we're giving away some Logitech controllers. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Some people with <laughs> like, so. Yeah. Now, a few other people have asked this. Is there going to be any in-game voice chat? Can they use mics to talk to people? Uh, in-game, no. Okay. No, you'll have to uh, do that like on Skype, like we are, yeah. or hit up a vent server or something like that. So there's no in-game actual voice chat. There's a full type chat system, uh, but not voice chat, unfortunately. Okay. And is there going to be like a die system? Because I know for a lot, and what other customizable sort of vanity items are going to be in the game for people who just love to make their character look lavish? Or <laughs> I certainly do. I'm a very vain gamer. I like decorating my character and making it colorful. And so, what's going to be there for people like me? <laughs> uh, answer your question. Yes, dies. Right. Yeah. Tons of dies. Uh, cool thing about raiders is that the armor you get. Uh, not only are the stats better and better, but it looks more and more awesome as you go on. So uh, some other games will have like you know their their costume sets, and then there is your armor, but the armor doesn't really look like anything. The gear and armor in Raiders actually makes you look awesome. And you'll see. Uh, I think we set you up um, uh, with some uh, some really cool stuff that'll make you look good. I haven't actually seen your character, but I'm sure it looks awesome. The one we have set up looks really cool too. Um, so there, there's a lot of vanity items. There, are, if you once you go into the game, if you look at your uh, your game info, your your character screen, H, and uh, click on costume, you'll see the costume sets right there. There are five different costume pieces you can have equipped. 
which you'll get uh, both through gameplay and uh, probably through Cash Shop. We'll, we'll have some of those in there for you. Uh, so yeah, fully customizable. Character creation is really, really cool. Uh, of course, male or female, uh, different, you can have different like voice sets. You can totally set up your face. It's really, really robust. Um, it's awesome. I love it. So a lot of different things you can do to make yourself stick out in the world. And moving on, what about guilds? What features are guilds going to have right at release? Uh, you're going to have, you know, guild, guild quests, I believe. And also yeah. just, you know, basic guild organization, being assigned roles and things like that. It's a very robust guild system. Um, I should hop on August 8th and check it out. <laughs> yeah. There are... Uh, there, we haven't, we haven't focused so much on guilds for the closed beta yet, or in the alpha we didn't focus too much on it. For the closed beta will be more. So, um, you know, we, we've told players before, like, just the more you play, um, the more data we'll get, right? So if you start a guild and how your guild sort of reacts and, and the things you guys do, the level you get to, that's all going to help us ultimately uh, have the best system we can during the open beta. So you're going to have your, your basic guild functions, like you said, guild quests, Guild leaders, uh, marshals, uh, uh, assigning different tasks and things like that, uh, and it'll only get better and more robust as we get closer to the open beta. And are there going to be like guild halls, or is there um, one thing that I've always liked, or cloaks or tabards um, of sorts, uh, being able to tell myself and my guild away apart from everybody else that's around us, uh, besides just a name above our head, if that makes uh, sense. In the closed beta, it'll just be the name. Okay. <laughs> And the open beta will be going to more of the guild halls, the taverns, and things like that. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, no. I'm, I'm imagining no player housing, I'm, but it has to be asked. Player housing, is there going to be player, player housing? At this point, no. There's not. Okay. There's, no, there's no persistent housing. Well, you know, you guys, if you're playing and you, uh, you really want to hit up the forums, you know, throw it in there. And yeah. We, um, you know... We're up for anything. We're up for whatever. Yeah, we're going to have <laughs> suggestions and feedback throughout. We're going to be engaging all your feedback for the closed beta and definitely take every suggestion into consideration. Everybody's chiming for, you know, player housing, and, you know, it's very possible in the future. You right. heard them. Get on the forum. Spam them about player... No, not spam them, but <laughs> player housing. <laughs> <laughs> all about player feedback. And, and all of uh, Corporate World, World Games, you can see a lot of that coming. We're consistently releasing new content, new patches, new updates. A lot of that comes directly from the players. So, you know, we have a dedicated community manager um, for this game and for all of our other games. We have de dedicated producers, dedicated QA. Um, we're not just sort of jumbling it all together. So we have people that are there specifically to listen to the players, take their feedback, uh, and action on it. So the more, the more suggestions and more info you guys give us, uh, the more we'll have to work with. For people who are asking, there are mounts in the game. I, at PAX, I actually got to check them out, and there are some really awesome looking mounts. How many mounts do you plan on coming out with at the start, and will it be flying mounts or just ground mounts? Uh, the close beta, there will be two. Oh my god, I'm getting killed. Uh, there will be two <laughs> ground mounts. Uh, two ground mounts. So one is the MOA, and one is the, uh, uh, the wolf. What do we call him? He's the, uh, uh, he's the wolf. Yeah, he's the wolf. Yeah, he's the wolf. You can see him in, uh, in some of the trailers and stuff. But the, the Mo and the wolf are the two ground mounts that you'll have access to in the closed beta. The Chocobo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome looking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love that one. And then pets. Will it be pets? Um, or will they be like vanity pets? Pets that can help you in combat? Uh, in the closed beta, no pets, right? No, we, no we're not, pets. Yeah, the closed beta doesn't get to that level yet. Um, okay. Open beta, you can expect some pets. Some, some pet action. Awesome. I yeah, can't go into too much. And you guys, don't don't tell anyone that we told you a lot of these things because I think we've I think we've said too much. <laughs> but it's okay. You know, we're here for you guys. Let's see. A couple other questions. Uh, let's see. Some people throw them out. Let's see. Flying Dragon Mouse pet classes that will come out later. Uh... Diable mounts, uh, there are. <laughs> Can you breed pets and battle them? Is this Pokemon? Pokemon. Yeah. Not, I, yeah. <laughs> I wish it was Pokemon. No, I'm kidding. Kind of. Is there going to be a rogue type class? I haven't looked terribly uh, too far into the classes, and I know there are quite a few people who might not be familiar with a lot of the classes. So. Right, so uh, rogue type class, not now. Uh, a lot of you, you guys are in your questions, you're touching on a lot of things that are coming. Uh, in the closed beta in the future. So right now we have the four uh, the four base jobs, the Berserker, Defender, Cleric, and Sorcerer, uh, but 
we already have a lot more content in the pipeline coming out. So uh, you're on the right you're on the right path right there. Awesome. Now, oh God, what was I going to ask? I was going to ask something about classes. And I for oh, balance, balance. How are you going to go about balancing the classes, especially when it comes to the dueling and arenas, or even the like in other games that shall not be named. When it gets into rating, they always prefer this DPS class over this DPS class so that you'll actually not get in because they don't want you because they'd rather have this other guy. And so going about balance in that way, because I find it, and for a lot of cases, it's hard to balance both PvE and PvP. Yes, it is very hard. And then Raiders has another level of, of balance difficulty because of the, the multi-class system, right? Because you can learn the different, you know, learn different skills. So that, that's, that's actually the... the the biggest challenge in Raiders is balancing those classes and uh, uh, balancing them among all the different types of skills you can use. So, for example, if someone has 10 skill points, one guy is going to use all 10 on the Berserker class. He's going to be just like a hardcore Berserker. Another guy is going to split it up for 5 for Berserker and 5 for uh, Sorcerer. So we need to make sure that they both feel as powerful and they're both doing, they're both able to do relatively the same amounts of, of damage and have relatively the same amounts of skill. So mm -hmm. that really, really goes back to what I mentioned ago uh, with the data. And, and one of the main reasons we're doing the closed beta is to gather the data and gather the feedback. So we'll see the people who are, you know, a pure build of whatever class, and we'll see the people that have split it up, and we'll see how they perform uh, against each other both in PvP and in PvE, against monsters, how quickly they're uh, killing them, how much damage they're doing, how much damage they're taking. And that's when we'll be balancing. So if you make some balance changes after the alpha, mm -hmm. um, those are going to be reflected in the closed beta. After the closed beta, we'll have um, you know x amount of time until the open beta to, uh, uh, to you know continuously rebalance. Uh, we also have our like I said, we have our dedicated QA people here that are always working on that as well. Always looking at the numbers and uh, you know making the the informed decisions based off the data. Okay. Now, how soon can people expect the open beta? They're already asking about it. <laughs> yeah. Open beta, I, I'm, I wish I could tell you, but not in the sense that I don't, I can't tell you, is that we don't have a date set yet. Mm -hmm. So this closed beta, as I mentioned a few times, we're gathering all the feedback. We don't know how long that's going to take, right? So we don't know if there's a lot that we're going to need to change, if there's just a little bit we're going to need to change. Um, so we've kept that wide open. And we'll say it will be this year. And it'll be Q, uh, uh, Q3 this year? Q3. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're, we are heavily shooting towards, yeah, it was this year, shooting towards Q3. So I think the question I saw in here was plans for the open beta. Will it be directly after the closed beta? Uh, answer is probably no. Um, actually, definitely no. <laughs> uh, we'll have the closed beta now. It'll shut down for a certain amount of time. And then the open beta will launch. We'll tell you when that's going to happen, and uh, you guys will be the first, know, first to know. And Arugi, the level cap is 30. Okay, well, that sounds good. Now, be sure to sign up to the beta by going to the link that JFC posted in chat. And if you sign up before midnight tonight, you get entered in a win a trip to PAX Prime. Wow, I'm just going to get them all confused. Which, <laughs> PAX is just amazing. It is definitely the convention to go to if you're a gamer. So don't miss out on that. Don't miss you guys out. You guys hang out with us? Hang out with us. We'll buy you dinner. <laughs> I want dinner. The cheap one, though, you know. <laughs> we'll go to McDonald's. Keep it reasonable. Yeah. We'll go to McDonald's. Just don't supersize. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, let's uh, go ahead and get into the gameplay. And okay. let's check out some of the world. Oh, I turned it down way too quiet. I see a lot of people asking about respects. Respects, yes. That's uh, that's very possible. Yeah, respects are always possible, either at a, a, a point in game, um, uh, something like that. So, you know, it's another one of those data things that we're going to have to deal with to see if people really want to respect. Of course they will. Everyone always wants to respect at some point. Um, but definitely we encourage you explore your character and definitely explore your skill set and really be, you know, confident and really, uh, yeah, confident with your, uh, your build and things like that. Yeah, give it some time. Yeah. Okay, where, uh, let's see, where 
Do you know where you are, Pocket? I'm at Broken Mast. Next oh, you're to... Broken Mast. Okay, you're back at the game. Cool, we're gonna go meet you there. So, Broken Mast is the beginning of the game. We spawned into the middle of the air, so we're going to... Oh, we made it. Okay. The beginning of the game, this is where you're gonna spawn. I think you're... Okay. Oh, was that no, your thing? No, no, no. This is where you'll, you'll um, meet your first NPCs and meet the crafting, the rest of the NPC, uh, your main quest givers, uh, sort of the first little hub world that you're gonna have access to. Uh, see the beach down there? You'll see those guys I talked about earlier um, that drop their drop their big mallet weapons. Those those crabs, they'll actually drop a piece of their shell uh, if you kill them, which will be a full full HP regen. Uh, uh, see, there's Blacksmith Loco. Definitely show the, uh, the drunken mess inside the shell. Uh, I don't see her. Oh, I'm like right at the quest giver. I've been running around. Testing abilities. So you're down. Oh. Are you down by? I'm by the ship. Okay, so you're down. Some. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I am wasting points like a boss. <laughs> it's all right. Does this character have a mount? Is there? A... Uh, hit I. Hit I. You. Oh. You may not. Oh, I think I do. Oh no, wait, no. Wait. Yeah, I do. You do? Nice. Awesome. Not you. <laughs> Just gonna ride through all these. Not even pay attention. Okay, I'm coming up on the ship now. Okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I forgot Are that you, you could actually do some attacks all around. Hey. Ooh, oh, that's a nice one. Awesome. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, now I'm going faster. Oh. Okay. Nice. See, so you're a defender class, so you have a one-handed shield and a one-handed sword. Oh, there we go. Is this... Imagining that's a block of sorts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. It's a dance. I'm doing a dance. There we go. <laughs> oh, I missed. And he's dead. Nice. <laughs> of course, you can scroll wheel in and out to change your view up a little bit. They want a duel, but you're just going to embarrass me if that happens. I don't know. I don't know what gear they gave you. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I noticed all that. Oh, goodness. Request to do it. How come? There we go. I got this. Is it started? Oh no! Oh, it should be. I'm pretty low on health. Oh, that's not even fair. I was so low. Oh no! Get up! Oh no! It doesn't. It's, it doesn't count. You were so low on health already. <laughs> <laughs> got me. No, yeah. That that definitely counts. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, you got me. I usually Easy. play um, a healer class in in any game I play, or support of sorts. That's right. why my name's Pocket, of course. <laughs> 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 but uh, melee can be fun. I'm just usually pretty bad at it. <laughs> right. Wow. Oh wow, I'm one shot. So if you want to come see uh, an example of an early boss, which is pretty sweet, I, do you know, uh, I think some HP, man. I don't have any pokes. Oh, who's that? Oh, 
Oh, that's right. Oh, mute and unmute. Okay. There we go. Sorry, sound bug. <laughs> Let's go fight the boss. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I had to. Uh, oh, I think I'm following the wrong person. I had to cheat. <laughs> Just pick myself real quick. I threw it. Oh, control. So there we go. So if you hit tab, actually, you'll cycle through your weapons. There you go. Oh, wow. That's a weapon right there. Awesome. So let's hop on mounts and go hit this boss really quick. Use your mount. Hop back on your mounts. Is there a hotkey for it? Uh, if it was in your skill tray, you could do it. You can open your inventory with I. There we go. So let me get mine really quick. So yeah, like I said, this is the whole first little area uh, where you're learning the game, killing these, uh, killing these little guys, power yourself up and getting used to it. So we're going to this first boss over here, and what's really cool, what, one of the, my favorite things about this game is how right off the bat, um, you start getting into these big fights, like within the first 30 minutes of gameplay. So you don't have to, um, you know, you don't have to wait until you're level 40 or play for 100 hours to, uh, to get into these big boss fights. You start getting to them right away, and you can actually see him out there. You see him? Yeah. So we're going to go hit that guy. Now someone asked the question, if they want to go just heals or support, um, will they be able to solo level up until the boss fights, or will they, they have to level with other people? Uh, you can solo level. Yeah, you can, so you, you can solo whatever you want. Uh, it, it might just take you a little while longer to uh, make a pretty quick work game. Uh, a little while longer to, to grind up to, you know, the level that you need to get. For, for these early bosses, like that one that we just killed, yeah. they're sort of meant to be solo. So... Uh, Pretty much from 15, 20 beyond, it's very difficult to sneak up boss. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Once you get about 15, it's gonna, that's when it's going to get difficult. Yeah. We are too OP. Please nerf us. I know. Oh, what is this? So this is uh, one of the first story elements right here to unlock this dude. Pound bug again. Sound bug. Oh, that's it's an exploit. It um, randomly gets sound bug for some reason. Uh, okay. Ritz won't be open for closed beta. Person that asked. Oh yeah, no Ritz for CV. Sorry. You're welcome. Now let's come over here and check this out real quick. This is cool. So I mentioned earlier uh, about your skill trays. Now it's always changing. So if you look at the bottom of your screen, you have your skill tray down there, and you can uh, free up your mouse with Control. Just hit Control, and you'll free up your mouse. You can scroll over to our skills and everything. Oh, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to go do a quick transform, and you can see what it's like to have your skill trays change and to have a whole new, whole new thing going on. It's right here. That's ancient. Oh, maybe it's not unlocked. Uh, you should be able to hit E right there. Maybe we're not. Oh man, I, I maybe just didn't get the quest yet. But right off the bat, there's this thing, that there's like this ancient spirit that you can acquire, and it'll transform you into this like other, I don't know, weird alien type of character. You'll have a whole new set of skills, uh, a new weapon you'll be able to use, super powerful, and, there, and of course you're going to need him for a quest that starts off in that area. There's another boss. Oh, the frog? Yes. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Oh man, two OP. Two OP. You're oh, is that oh you only knocked him out. That's it. That was one of the more uh, dramatic 
frog deaths I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't too happy about that. Poor frog, we're just picking <laughs> on him. <laughs> oh, he'll respawn, he'll be fine. Yes, Suni. See? Oh wow! You just became different. Unfortunately, I don't think I had to GM GM code it, so I don't think I can do yeah, it. Yeah, that's why your question. So yeah, that's why you're connected. See now, if you if you see me, you'll see my skill tree down at the bottom. I have uh, four new skills that I can use. Um, of course, melee class. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. One more time. Oh wait, are we gonna? There we go. I I requested one with you as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I never uh, PVP'd someone with this guy. Oh. Oh wow. That was no. Oh my god, no. Oh, make it stop. Oh, oh wow, he just sat me down. <laughs> I didn't see blood. Oh my god. There you go, well though. No, I'm not. Dodge. Oh yeah, so uh, I forgot to tell you, oh. you shift to dodge. Oh, to shift. shift to dodge. Okay, there we go. Yeah, run in any direction and shift. There you go. Okay, we got this. I got this. I'm not. Whoa, oh. frog guy. Boss fight in our duel. Boss fight in duel. Okay, go ahead and start fighting him. Now that you have aggro on it. I'm I want to get eaten. You might get it once I'll die. I got this. I'm going to get. Got it. Oh, the view. Oh. oh, my God. Gross. Ooh. Oh wow. Figure it out. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick on you while you <laughs> get attacked by that. Nice. You can hit E, you can see all the items that he drops. This guy drops some pretty good stuff. Oh my god, we're still fighting! <laughs> oh. Trying to teach you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you can bad. hit E. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> no! No, it doesn't count! <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes when you're fighting, you'll see sort of a little combo. Um, if you, uh, if you use the right skill and you do damage with it, you'll see you'll see another little skill icon show up by your character, and it'll have a number in it. So you know, like two no. or four or something. So if you hit that, uh, your character will do uh, an additional attack, like combo attack, for more damage. Oh, I lost. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> it's not fair. I had this guy, but you did. Uh, Good fight. Yeah, you did really well. I tried. <laughs> Uh, shields and weapons do uh, get worn, they do degrade, yes, so you're going to need to repair them. Someone asked. Can the frog eat you? Yes, yes. he can. I was trying to get him to, but he wouldn't do it. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I'm better with range and healing, because I just kite. Uh, the game is quest-based, yeah, you're going to be questing through it. Got crabs, a question from Got Crabs. <laughs> uh, there are, let's see, yes, you're right, well, lots of expansions and stuff. No Riot and CBT. No Riot and CBT, there you go. Let's go to, um, will she be able to do yeah, RSM on two different areas? Uh, no, she has to run there, but I can move her. So, okay, so we're going to move you Macau and Village. me yeah, okay. to, uh, to the new Makat Village, to the new area. Okay. So anyone that didn't play before. Because this is all the beginning. If you guys played the Alpha, you definitely played this. And um, Chris took off to go to his computer.
to move you over to like force move you over to an area. Uh, in the meantime, let's see, you can hit I. Of course, that's all your inventory. You can hit H. That will bring up all your character info. So you see all your stats and your basic stats, uh, all your gear and equipment. There's a costume tab in there. I don't think you have any costumes right now. You see your faction standing and uh, all the skills that you learned right there. Yeah, replenish health with beer, of course. What else would you use? <laughs> Uh, you can hit J to bring up your journal. That's where all your quests. Um, you can take notes. Uh, you have your different recipes for your different pieces of gear. I'm cooking pizza stew. Pizza stew, nice. Um, of course, M brings up your map, and then N, N like knit. Will bring. Oh yeah, that's the feast right there. Yeah. Awesome. See, even I can go up to it and use it. Oh, I got gear to fire. <laughs> I'm holding a giant mug. Really? You can swing with it too. Oh wow. You can drink it. Get a little buff. So in order to get a buff, uh, uh, if you look up in the upper right of the screen, uh, next to your mini map, there's a little icon up there with a little countdown. Whenever you have any sort of status effect change, buff, debuff, temporary, different type of status, that's going to show you what it is. So sometimes it can be only like 5 seconds, 10 seconds. Sometimes like this one I have right now, um, it's an hour long. So I have increased maximum health by 300, increased energy by 100, and, and agility by 10 for a full hour. So these feast items are actually really, really important. They're really strong. <laughs> nice. I'm just gonna cook all the feasts. Okay, jeez. <laughs> Food fight. Is the UI going to be customizable? Um, not not in the sense that that, that question was asked in. Um, um, there, there are basic things that you can turn on and off, uh, but you're not going to be able to completely move it all around. No. Okay. You hit T. I'm not sure. You may have done this already. Um, yeah, I put my points in just random stuff. <laughs> Can you guys watching see the stream right now? Can you see us? I'm pretty sure they can. Okay. Maybe it's just us. I'm gonna try and get swallowed by this dude. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, and I'm getting teleported. <laughs> Kill it with the... Oh, there you go. So we brought you into Makat Village. Now, this is the new area that's available uh, in the closed beta. And as you can see, it's highly contrasting to what we just saw in um, uh, Broken Mast. Oh, I left. Oops. Sorry. Be right back. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, this is actually my level. You're gonna rock out. I have to actually be careful. Oh. Did you get yeah, the guitar song? Yeah. Do you want to rock out? You want to play some guitar? Yeah. All right. Give us a second. I got One second. Totally own that dude.
Mann. I'm gonna go kill something with this giant turkey leg. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Spawn a guitar, and when you're done killing with that, uh, we're gonna trade it to you. Okay. But don't think you have one in your inventory. Doesn't do as much damage as my weapons. Well, it's a big slab of meat. That's true. <laughs> but maybe I could throw it at them and they'll eat it. Or I'll just eat it. <laughs> Whoa. Am I dancing? You go. Rock out. <laughs> <laughs> Not playing it back. <laughs> you great dancing? Yes! Oh my goodness! This is a good one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give you a guitar. So come back here real quick. I always mess up. Ah, dang. I Wait, so up. you were playing the guitar while I was fighting that guy. Now, is that intentional? Was that intentional? Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, playing it and it made me dance while I'm fighting a guy, and then I couldn't so attack. That's, that's not something you would normally do. Okay. Uh, I was just kind of messing around. Okay. But, can do it. Yeah. Oh, I think it's appropriate. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. okay. You're on tradable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one? Uh, something. These are on tradable items. Uh, let's see. Does she have GM? No, I don't think she has GM. Um, let's see. We can drop it. No. It's, uh, unfortunately, it's an untradeable item. Well, I can watch you hit people with it. Sorry, it's down. Yeah. Soft ground guitar. All right. Yeah, this one's Sorry, I made you dance again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think she should have started with a guitar. Is that oh wait. Room? Oh wait, I do have one. Huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. Smash away. So hit five. Five will be your uh, your weapon skill. But you kind of use it. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Try. <laughs> Not even close. Not even close to dying. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, so this guy dropped a little piece of himself right here. So if you look straight in front of you on the other side of the pig... Yeah, that... Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. So you can go pick that up and it might be... Is that a weapon she can use right now? Oh man! It's a cobalt gun. I used it. I I didn't oh. mean to. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> this is a pretty sweet weapon. Wow. Maybe we can kill another one. So see, I only have this one for I think 15 seconds. It does a lot of damage in these 15 seconds. Yeah. Let's kill another one of these dudes and try and get you one. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hit E. Oh, it's not working for me. No? Are you hitting E? Yeah. Uh, I think it's looking for you right now, I think. You guys are party? No, we're not even party. Oh. Oh, oh sorry no. about that. Alright, let her kill it. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, probably because I... I don't know, yeah. Because I shot that guy, uh, I hit that guy first. You gotta hit the next guy first. 
A keytar? <laughs> yes. Did he drop it? No. Oh, I don't see it. Oh, not again. Oh. oh man, I was two for two. Give me your loot. Oh, where do you? Oh. <laughs> That's a crazy request. Man, <laughs> ammo, drum set. It's getting very creative. <laughs> oh my gosh, give me your loot. Oh man. Loot. Having bad luck. Uh, so some people are asking about localization. Uh, it's always ongoing. Um, should have almost everything fully localized uh, in time for the close beta. Oh, oh no. Do you have any of the new bosses available to fight? Uh, yeah, Crassus. Let's get to him. Sounds good. Okay, we're, we're close to him. Oh, did I knock him off? Oh, there you go. That's weird. Uh, press M. Yeah, head to the first floor. Press M on the map. Oh, you're on the first floor. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, so Alt's there. Yes. Will she be able to do that? Oops. Uh, she has to run there later. <laughs> there. There, Alt's there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to bring you to this boss now. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> So give me one second, I got attacked by this dude. <laughs> I jumped on accident. But, but, I spawned down here, so whatever. <laughs> Wait, that's okay. Oh, yeah, it is. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so there's Crassus right down if you follow me. I don't know if we can kill it in our current state. Here we go. Good luck. I tried to dodge. Oh my god, I'm almost yes. there. Right. So make sure to, to dodge a lot yeah, with this guy. Uh, I'll go. Okay, here we. Yeah, dodge that poison. Oh! Oh no! I was pointing. Ah, I died. I dodged right into the poison cloud. No! <laughs> into the poison. It's a very tough boss. Definitely requires a lot of teamwork. Yeah, so you see what we're saying there? It's, uh, it's difficult. Okay, I'm coming down. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh! Dodged into the poison again. No! Oh, oh wow, this guy has a lot of health. Oh my goodness. Are you still in the fight? Are you still in? You didn't die? No, I haven't died yet. Oh, 
Oh my oh. god. Oh, I got hit. Oh, that was not good. Oh, I'm going to push it. Oh, that's good. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm injured. Yeah. See, we need, uh, we don't have any, any range dudes. Uh, Ooh, I'm almost dead now. One more mistake and I'm down. Alright, I'm on. I'm trying to get there. I'm debuffed, so I'm super slow. Oh, oh. How the- oh my god. Oh, because you're a fatigue. So, uh, probably Jeez. pushing your HP slower. Oh, oh, oh. Come on now. Ah, I have 77 health. Is it, uh... <laughs> 45 health. I, I I am in I'm no help. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I have 218. I just used an ability. I don't know what it did. Oh. You die? No, no, not yet. Dodge! Even these little guys are super tough. Tanky, it's okay, I got this. I can't even cheat and win. I <laughs> I spawned right into a poison cloud and died and <laughs> Yeah, for those wondering maybe why I'm I'm killing it so slow is because I put all my skills in defense. All my points in defense. Well that's why you're staying alive too, so. Yeah. Okay, poison's down now. I think it's about to come back up. She's doing like 8 damage, 12 damage. Hey, Charge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is definitely showing us up. <laughs> I certainly enjoy action combat, so... It's, uh, it just keeps it a little more engaging for me, you know? I, like, some games, the tap to target is pretty cool, um, if it goes well in that world, but... I think with this one, I, I like how fast it is. Um, you know, it's, each, each fuck is different, so I like it a lot more. Uh-oh, he just pooped poison on me and I died. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> stamina is screwed. Go. Oh, no. oh, can you explain the, the payment model that you'll be oh, using? Oh, yeah, free to play. Of course, free to play. So, free to play, we're not uh, charging for any content, any levels, any skills. We're not selling weapons. We're not selling gear. Uh, nothing that's going to overpower anybody. So, um, 
uh, maybe cosmetic items, um, so maybe, uh, uh, some things to kind of help you out, maybe to level up faster, um, sort of convenience items. Definitely won't be pay to win. Um, there's not going to be anything you can do or buy in the cash shop to, uh, to make yourself any stronger than anyone else, and vice versa. <laughs> No pay to win. Free to play with microtrans. No pay to win. I almost beat it. I got it down by 10%. <laughs> you hung in there. I tried to, uh, to go back and continue the fight, but I, I mean, he just looked at me and I died right away. Did you just die again? <laughs> I died like, set, like probably eight or nine times. <laughs> I died over and over again. I'm glad no one saw it. <laughs> Well, all right. Um, any last minute questions, chat room? You should. Uh, you guys said the downloads going for the uh, for the closed beta will be probably in the next 24 hours, right? 12 hours, something like that, as yeah, soon as yeah. possible. <laughs> You'll see it up there. Um, you'll probably put it on the yeah. site when it's ready. Definitely not on Yeah, you can go to Play Raiders. Um, I'll put it in there. Playraiders.com. Um, that's where you'll, uh, all the news will be there. Um, you'll see all of, uh, you see Chris all over the place. Um, you can get the forums. What's your forum name? Uh, my forum? Endpoint Error. Endpoint Error. So if you want to go troll a guy in the forums. This is the guy. This is the guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Any more questions? Uh, healing also active target, yes. So it's going to be AOE heals, uh, active target heals. Can we have a unique character? I'm not sure what you mean, but it's uh, you do create your own character. There's not like, you know, there's not set characters. So I think yes. Um, do AIs change in battle? Um, the bosses, uh, all, they, they have their own, uh, they all have their own attack patterns or anything like that. That'll change throughout a fight. Max level in the closed beta will be 30. What else we got? Do weapons change? How effective against certain monsters? Yes. Um, some weapons will be will do more damage against certain type of enemies, uh, and vice versa. Uh, I guess can't elaborate on PvP. They'll be in the available in the future. That's correct. Hey, Pen, come play League. Nope. Not right now. Not right now. We have work to do. <laughs> uh, will be different servers. Yesterday we separated by. NA and EU. Um, we are handling the NA servers. There will be East Coast and West Coast servers. How much lag? How much will lag affect gameplay? Somewhat. Um, we'll have plenty of servers on both coasts, so everyone uh, should be able to get in relatively lag-free. Um, but I mean, just like any game, of course, lag will have an effect. When do we go for the standard looting, um, as opposed to? Monster Hunter style. Uh, that was not really a, uh, a decision that was made. That was just how the designers, the gameplay designers, um, designed the game. Uh, it's more MMO style than... You know, Monster Hunter is uh, uh, typically a single-player type of game. Uh, this being an MMO, there's little different things that go into it. Uh, estimate on the release time of the download link, uh, hopefully within the next couple yeah. hours. Definitely by tomorrow. Please make quest item drops for all in a group, not one person at a time. Uh, there's a loot uh, loot roll system, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that'll work. Uh, yes, your character is locked to a server. Uh, any, um, so every MMO team says the game is not grindy. Uh, we went over a lot of things today that we uh, that we really think is going to make the game not feel grindy to a lot of people. So. You're always working towards something, developing your character, developing right. your gear, developing more like combat styles and things like that. So it doesn't feel grindy at all. It's definitely, you always feel like you're progressing and moving forward. Definitely. Community game night with devs, uh, possibility. Yeah, I don't see why not. Penalty for dying, like on, like armor durability loss or something. Yes, armor durability loss is a big one, uh, but you're going to re uh, retain all of your items. Uh, I'm not sure what set you're talking about. Thank you for being here on the stream. Uh, um, well, it went fast. <laughs> okay, so here's one. Um, for people who are going to get into the closed beta, NDA. Oh, no. No, no NDA. They'll be able to stream. Uh, what's the opposite of an NDA? Yes. A full DA. 
Tell your friends. Yes, yeah. so you'll be able to stream it, make videos about it, do Thank all you. of that, share yeah. it. Share it with us, and we can highlight your stuff on you know, Facebook, Twitter. Definitely, I'll give you some love if you share all that with us. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, risk between Terra and Raiders. The main difference is that I have played one and have not played the other. Um, Mess with the Garden, you'll see in close band in two days. There you so go. I'm to keep that little surprise for you. Uh, and you know, for a Bowman Gunner type combat style, um, can't tell you for sure, but you see the eye winking. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Uh, Epic Yell, you didn't get ignored. What did you What did you ask? I'll answer your question. Does closed beta stat transfer to open beta? No, your closed beta character will be deleted. A lot of people are asking about a marriage or relationship system in the game. Uh, not right now. Not right now. No, well, that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> that would be cool. Will it be a first-person shooter? Yes. No, I'm kidding. It won't be. <laughs> it's an action combat. <laughs> <laughs> Get your beta keys at that link. Uh, you guys should still have some left. And if you have any other questions, be sure to read, head to our forums. First, go to our main website, raiders.perfectworld.com. There's a link under community for forums. Leave all these great questions there, and I'll be sure to answer them one by one. Yes. Because we can't get through all of them right now. So these answer. Yeah. Okay. Release for 2012. Yes. So last thing, uh, uh, closed beta begins August 8th, which is day after tomorrow. Servers will open in the evening, sometime on the U.S. West Coast. So you uh, download link should be up sometime either today or tomorrow, so you can pre-download. As soon as the servers are open, you can get your username and get ready and start playing. So August 8th. August 8th. Get in the beta, get all your feedback together, go to the forums, leave feedback there. It'll help them out. Good, bad, positive, negative. You need to leave all your feedback there to help these guys out to make this game the best it can be before release. So be exactly. sure to get in the beta. Exactly. Thank you guys thank you so guys. much. Pocket, thank you and so thank much. Thank you for joining us. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, anytime. anytime. I got to rock out real quick before we end the stream. Let's do this. Do Let's do it. Oh, oh nice yeah. Time. Nice. There you go. <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. Well, y'all have a good one and good night. Be sure to go sign up for the beta. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.